pictures. Ryan Broom has that story. Barbados's manufacturing sector continues to perform well. Banks Breweries, one of the country's oldest companies, has actually recorded stronger figures over last year. CEO of Banks Holdings, Richard Cozier, says Banks Breweries Limited has continued to improve its efficiency and marketing, pushing the bank's brand into new markets. He made the comment as Banks hosted a tour of its Newton Christchurch plant for Minister of Industry, International Business, Commerce and Small Business Development, Don Valinas, and Minister of Health, John Boyce, along with senior officials from both ministries. We've been having a good performance um, this year. Certainly the brewery, uh, Banks Holding as a whole, has, is having a better year this year than last year. Um, and the brewery in particular is having a, a much better year than they had last year. Um, a lot of uh, the hard work that we put in last year in preparing the ground for the growth um, is now reaping fruit. We're, we're starting to see um, more penetration into some of the markets we've got in. We're starting to see more consumption of beer locally. And the minister, I think, some time ago would have had, had his ears bent by the rum people in terms of the, the so-called beer war that was being waged at that time. Um, uh, we didn't start it. Um, but we are, we, but, but we, fight, but we joined, we joined the fight late, but now we're the biggest dog in it. Mr. Innes lauded banks for its continuous efforts to capture new external markets in a highly competitive environment. Certainly, we are always looking for opportunities to celebrate Barbadian companies that are taking our products outside of this island. That helps to promote Barbados as a, as a serious place uh, for business. It also helps us to earn foreign exchange, uh, which, of course, we always need in this country. So I want to thank you very much, Mr. Kozi and the team, for the work you've been doing in the, in the export market as well. Meanwhile, Mr. Kozi acknowledges that banks has to attain the highest standards to remain competitive, and he has this is why the company is presently the most modern brewery in the Caribbean. We are ever mindful, as the minister pointed out, um, that the market, in Bar the market for our beer is not Barbados. The market for, for our beer is Barbados and the wider world. And we have, through Ray and his team, um, expanded into North America, uh, both the US and Canada, Eastern Seaboard primarily, and recently, within the last couple of years, into, into the UK. And we hope for now to get some sort of footing in, into Europe as well. Um, these things don't happen uh, very easily. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work on the ground and it takes a lot, of, a lot of investment. With new export markets potentially opening up in the months and years ahead, Banks Breweries continues to be one of the leading lights in Barbados' manufacturing sector. Ryan Broom, CBC News. Thanks, Ryan. Well, company closures and layoffs continue to be a concern for the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Executive Director Lisa Gale says the Chamber is well aware of the situation as it is reflected in its level of membership and subscription. We have had some fall-offs. In fact, there have been a number of company closures. And we have, as a BCCI, because we are a member-based organization, we have seen a reduction in the numbers of employees within the companies. As you know, we do our dues, our subscriptions are based on the number of employees. So we have seen, based on the invoices that we would have sent out early January, we have seen a reduction over, the, over this particular year. Here's a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region.